Hey everyone. Welcome to Can You Beat? Welcome to Can You Beat Castle Crashes Without Jumping Part 2. For those of you who haven't seen the first vid, you can click on the i card in the top right to see it. Here is a refresher of the rules. No pressing space. There is a way to get airborne without pressing the jump button. You just have to spam the two attack buttons and you will go up in the air and you can juggle the enemy. Level 19 Industrial Castle. In this level we're going to fight the boss Industrial Machine. Which is pretty easy. Then we have to get through some obstacles. The first thing is that you have to get through some poison balls which you just have to shield. The second thing is just some crushing things that crush you, just run through it. The third thing is an electrical fence which is also easy. This level is really not that hard. Then we have the elevator and then the boss fight. The boss fight is pretty easy, you just have to not die and keep away from the shooty thingy which will shoot fire poison or wise. Die bitch die. <gasps> level 20 Dark. This level is pretty easy just go over to the persons that want the three gold things and the level is done. Level 21 Pirate Ship. In this level you just have to kill the pirate ninjas and this is easy, just use you light attack and they die in one.
Level 22 Desert. The only difficult thing in this level is to kill the two spaceships at the end of the level. The reason that the spaceships are hard is that they fly, but you can still hit them. Level 23 Alien Ship. This level is easy. When the one minute countdown starts just run as fast as you can and the level is cleared. Run 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 you bitch fast Level 24 Desert Chase This is pretty easy, just use the attack spam method to get on top of the llama I am going to call the attack spam method where you get airborne flight spam from now on. Level 25 Sandcastle Interior. This is one of the shortest levels in the game. You just have to fight some enemies and then it's done. Level 26 Sandcastle Roof. This level is easy. The only hard thing in this level is the volleyball fight but that's just because I am bad at the volleyball.
Level 28 Marsh. I know I skipped level 27 but that's because we need to beat level 29 to get the horn which we need to get through level tw Level 29 Corn Boss. This level is not hard because we can't jump it's just the fucking stupid corn that is so dumb. Level 27. We are finally back in level 27. Now that we have the horn we can finally beat this level. This level is just so slow because the fastest way to get through the water is to jump but we can't do that. Level 30 Medusa's Lair. In this level there aren't any hard things so this is Level 31 Full Moon. I hate this level it's stupid and the enemies have so much health. But there is no need.
Level 32 Snow World. This level is easy so just play it as normal. Level 33 Ice Castle. This level is easy until you reach the place where you are getting shot with arrows and ice. If you hear the arrows coming then you shield but if you hear the ice coming then you jump. Now you can see the problem. All you have to do is just to get hit by the ice and remember to not die then it's easy. Level 34 Wizard Castle Take Off. This level is easy. When you take off it looks like you jumped but I didn't touch the keyboard until I was in the air so this level is easy. Level 35 Wizard Castle Interior. This level is easy just beat the cult minion. This level is easy. I'm in your castle. The first boss the painter. The painter is pretty easy just kill his paintings and kill him when he comes down. The second boss undead cyclops. This level is also easy just kill him as
The third boss Necromancer. This level is hard because every enemy you have fought previously is back to kill you but when you kill all of the enemies this level is Level 36 Final Battle. This is the final level of the game. Here we fight the last boss evil wizard. His first form is red crystals he shoots at you. The second is him coming down to fight you with a ball around you. If his ball is blue you can only hit him with magic and if it's red you can only hit him with your sword. If anyone know what the fuck that happened here please leave it in the comment section down below. His third form is him being a ball. Just use flight spam and hit him then it's easy. Then we have the fourth form where he fakes being dead and then turns into a motherfucking spider that's hard. Just use flight spam and it's a bit easy. His fifth form is him being a ball again this is easy just use flight spam. Then we have his final form which is pretty annoying when he does his meteor attack then it's hard to reach him. Woohoo fuck yay we did it the challenge is completed. This was a long and hard journey but we are finally here.
These two videos took a lot of work and hours to make so if you liked it please leave a like and a comment. I know that you watched the video through you probably liked it and my contents to so go on and subscribe I would greatly appreciate that. I am just gonna let the credits roll through but I have a little announcement at the end of the video at 29 uh oh. Hi again now for the announcement. In all of my videos I will from now on I will choose a random subscriber to give a shout out. If you want a shout out all you have to do is like and subscribe and turn on the bell and write a comment. Also when I reach 100 subscribers I will do a Q&A so if you have some questions to ask me leave them in the comments down below. See you in my next video peace fuckers.